Exploding cars, electrically charged sculptures and jumping castles with a political message. They're just some of the quirky offerings at this year's Sydney Biennale. It features work by a record number of international and local artists and that makes it one of the world's biggest contemporary art shows. Cockatoo Island is one of the Biennale's major locations hosting the work of artists from 36 countries. Japanese artist Hiroshi Sugimoto found the former shipyard had a feast of exotic places to install his photographic homage to lightning. I found this power plant. It's already abandoned. It's a huge power plant. So I just said this must be it. He is among 166 artists who have tackled the theme of the 17th Biennale, the beauty of distance, songs of survival in a precarious age. Closer to home is Australian artist Brooke Andrews' Jumping Castle War Memorial, a plaything with a message. A chance to find out what's going on throughout the world today in contemporary art, all the things, good things and bad things, and how are artists reflecting on them. The venues of the Biennale are almost as important as the art. Some of the artworks have been shown before in the world's great galleries, but on Cockatoo Island they are given a whole new look. Like Chinese artist Tsai Guo Chung's cars that once lit up New York's Guggenheim Museum. This spectacular wall of digital video was first seen at the Venice Biennale. It was made by a Russian collective of artists on an island, using 60 guests and 60 staff from a hotel as the models. The Biennale is all free and runs until August in surprising places like the island as well as in Sydney's major galleries. Anne-Marie Nicholson, ABC News.